BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Biology Muscles. That's not me, by the way. So, structure of muscles. There's a muscle there. Uh, muscles are made up of bundles of muscle fibers. And so you get a bundle of muscle fibers. The muscle fiber is the actual muscle cell. Um, then the cell is made up of things called myofibrils, long thin myofibrils, which are made up of sections called sarcomeres. And the sarcomeres are made up of two types of filament, uh, myosin and actin filaments. So be able to describe the structure of muscles. Muscles, bundles of fibers, each fiber is a muscle cell. Uh, myofibril, sarcomeres, myosin and actin filaments. Here's a, a sarcomere. So how do muscles contract? Well, uh, myofibrils are made up of sarcomeres and what happens is the sarcomeres get shorter. Uh, they can get shorter and longer again between 2.2 micrometers and 3 micrometers. Mu meters is micrometers. So the sarcomeres can get shorter and longer again. And how do they do that? When the muscle contracts, the thin actin filaments move between the thicker myosin filaments and that makes it shorter. Looking at this you can see the actin filaments moving, sliding in and out uh, and then the myosin filaments in the middle not moving. What makes them actually do that isn't on our syllabus but there's these pretty wild little things grab hold of them and walk along dragging them along. It's, it's very interesting. It's worth looking up. Okay, so special proteins drag the filaments together. There are two types of muscle fibers. You need to know the two types and all this information you need to know about them. Slow twitch muscle fibers, slow sustained contraction for long periods. They have lots of mitochondria, uh, lots of aerobic respiration. Aerobic means with plenty of oxygen. So lots of capillaries to supply the oxygen and take the CO2 away. They don't tire easily. Uh, large oxygen and glucose stores. These are slow twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch, rapid intense contractions in short bursts. They don't have very many mitochondria and they get their energy from anaerobic. Anaerobic means without oxygen. Anaerobic respiration, which produces lactic acid. Uh, fewer capillaries, they tire quickly and they have little stored oxygen and glucose. Try and learn this information. Now, different types of athlete have different proportions of the two types. We all have some slow twitch and fast twitch. Um, slow twitch is typically something like an endurance athlete, something like a, a marathon runner will have a preponderance of slow twitch fibers. Lots of aerobic respiration happening, steady power, a steady deliverance of power, uh, an endurance athlete. A fast twitch muscle fiber, we're talking anaerobic respiration, fast explosive power like a sprinter but get tires tires easily i mean a sprinter only needs to do his or her bit for 10 15 seconds uh, most people contain a, a balanced combination of both uh, top athletes will have more of one type than the other this is another graphic just showing that you see that the long distance runner has lots of slow twitch muscle fibers, which are the darker red ones. A middle distance has about 50-50. And then the sprinter has lots of fast twitch muscle fibers. Here are some questions. Describe the structure of muscles. 
describe how muscles contract, draw a table showing the differences between slow twitch and fast twitch. That would be a big six mark question, that one. What kinds of athlete would have an abundance of each type?